welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make chocolate cherry drops. Now most people will make chocolate covered cherries but in this family we don't care for the gooey white stuff. So I'm going to attempt to make chocolate drops with cherry, just plain cherries in them. So we'll see how this goes. Join me. Let's ask my assistant what she thinks. Although she can't have the chocolate, she'll have a dental chew. What do you think? Chocolate cherry drops? Think so? Should we? Okay, let's try it. So this is what it looks like out my window today. Snow everywhere. Snow everywhere and icicles everywhere. Yep, okay, I'm gonna bake and cook. All right, I cut up the maraschino cherries into quarters and I'm drying them really well. I went through a process of putting more paper towel, more paper towel. I want to make sure these are good and dry. And then I've got, and I actually, I did the recipe times four. So um, I got four cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And I don't have coconut oil, so I'm just going to put a little, um, just a couple tablespoons of shortening in when I melt the chocolate chips. So let's... Uh, We'll let these dry a little bit more and we'll mix it up and melt the chocolate chips in the microwave like 15 seconds at a time or 30 seconds, probably 15 seconds. And then we'll get them put out on a cookie sheet. Okay, I put the chocolate chips and the shortening in the microwave. I did a uh, 30 seconds like I think three or three times so it's really good and melted now I'm going to add you see that I'm gonna add the cherries they're all dry I'm gonna mix in the cherries Make sure they're good and coated, good and mixed. I think this is going to work. I've never done this before and I just, we like chocolate covered cherries but we don't like that white gooey stuff that's in it. Too rich for us. So we'll see if this works. We still have chocolate covered cherries, but without the gooey stuff. Alright, now I'm going to just put it on the. wax paper here. I think they're going to have to be perfect. Should be fun. Oh, I ran out of room. I got it's a good thing I got another one going here. Just in case, which yep, it was I needed it. Oh, baby girl, I know my assistant. You can't have chocolate. You're begging, but you can't. I'll give you a rawhide treat, because you're such a good assistant. A dental chew rawhide. She was a rescue dog, so she was already five years old when we got her. Okay. 
bet I can scrape out one more. Probably got a one whole one right here on my fingers. Yep, I was able to get one small one. All right, I'm gonna let those dry and harden and see how good they are. Thank you for joining me today for Chocolate Cherry Drops. They turned out really good. It tastes like a chocolate covered cherry, only without the gooey white stuff that our family doesn't like. So I think I've discovered something for Christmas and why not any time of year? Yeah, they turned out really good. So yeah. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I thank you for all the subscribers that have subscribed. It really means a lot to me. And I did want to say um, I'm going to be uploading some more videos this weekend. But there might be a, a time in the next few weeks that you won't see any videos uploaded. Um, I'm going to be scheduled for surgery and I don't know I don't know what it's going to be like if I'm going to feel up to cooking after that. Um, yeah, I did, I did want to mention, I don't usually like to mention health issues for the whole world to know, but if there is one person out there that can ha be helped by this, I'm, I'm going to talk about it. Um, I've suffered about 50 years now from what doctors diagnosed as panic attacks and they would get so bad that I eventually was so afraid of going out of my house that I became agoraphobic. I wouldn't leave the house unless it was an absolute emergency that I had to without somebody going with me because every time I would have a panic attack it felt like a heart attack. And when you're, it started when I was like 12 years old. But in the last couple months, well the last few years actually, they got worse and lasting three hours. And um, I finally went into the emergency room and my heart rate was 205. And um, it would have had already been three hours. And then that's where they found out, they actually had to do a, uh, control alt delete and stop my heart for seven seconds to stop it but that's when they found out that what I actually had it was called SVT supraventricular tachycardia and it, it's an easy fix so they just will go in with electrodes in in the artery and zap that area of my heart where the electrical impulses are taking a shortcut so I'll be back and just as strong. I know everything's going to be fine. I've been praying for this, for a healing, for this to be fixed for years. So I know this is my answer to my prayer and I'm looking forward to being free from fear of panic attacks for the first time in my life. So just bear with me. Um, I'm a pretty strong person and I don't like to be sitting for very long so I'm expecting to be up and around moving cooking pretty quickly after surgery so thanks and remember stay busy and serve others. Bye for now.